Hello, this is ice problem number three, and it begins with what mass of 120 degrees Celsius steam is required to melt one kilogram of negative 20 degrees Celsius ice so that the equilibrium temperature, TF, is 50 degrees Celsius liquid. Make sure you have a paper pencil and that you prove each slide that I do and that you put it on pause, write down a question when you have it, and ask me the next day in class. Okay, now <clears throat> let's begin. Let's first look at the graph and we see that the heat of fusion is 80 kilocalories per kilogram. The heat of vaporization is 540 uh, kilocalories per kilogram. The, the uh, solid ice is going to go through three transitions from uh, the freezing temperature to zero degrees Celsius and then from zero degrees Celsius solid to zero degrees Celsius liquid and then up to the equilibrium temperature which is 50 degrees and the steam will go the other way and finally end up at the equilibrium temperature of 50 degrees Celsius <clears throat> and the the givens and the constants are here. Uh, the mass of the ice is one kilogram. The initial temperature of the ice is negative 20 degrees Celsius. The initial temperature of the steam is 120 degrees Celsius. The, the equilibrium temperature that the steam and ice, melted ice, will reach would be 50 degrees Celsius. And then the, the constants for the specific heat capacities, heat of fusion, which we've already gone over, heat of vaporization, which we've also already gone over, will are listed here in the table for givens and constants. The graph here shows that each each transition or each each part, the ice melting and then warming to 50 degrees Celsius, and the uh, the steam cooling to 50 degrees Celsius, each one is going to have three transitions. Mm -hmm. You see three red arrows and three blue arrows, and that will, that will be the transition. So the, the liquid will be Q1, Q2, oh, sorry, the ice will be Q1, Q2 through Q3, and the steam will go through Q5, Q4, Q3 with the equations listed here. Now, <clears throat> the, the, heat, the heat gained by the ice plus the heat lost by the steam will equal zero. The equation heat gained by the ice equals the additive inverse of the heat lost. The heat gained will be Q1, Q2, Q3. Heat loss will be Q5, Q4, Q3. Uh, and then each heat lost or gain is given by each term for heat gained and heat lost here. Notice that Q3 is the, uh, the ice is now melted for that particular transition. The solution begins with looking at the heat gained side of the equation. In the heat gained side of the equation, each individual heat for the transitions Q1, Q2, and Q3 are listed. Uh, notice that each of the transitions 9.84, 80, and 50, which equal 139.84 kilocalories, are all positive. That's because the ice is absorbing energy, it is endothermic, and as a result the heats are positive. And when you add the three heats, you end up with 139.84 kilocalories. <clears throat> the heat lost, you have three transitions. Notice that each of the heats is going to be exothermic. 9.8, negative 9.8 uh, M steam, negative 540 uh, M steam, and negative 50 M steam. Notice that the 
the 9.86 becomes negative because of a mathematical calculation that is 100 minus 120 and the the third term negative 50 because is because 50 minus 100 and the heat of vaporization has to be appointed as negative because you know that it is exothermic the steam is giving up is losing that heat of vaporization so that you end up with a total negative of 599.66 m steam the the uh, original equation which is the the heat gained by the ice equals the the uh, additive inverse of the heat lost by the steam you're going to put the 139.84 kilocalories that's going to be the heat gained negative 599.66 kilocalories is going to be the uh, the heat lost when you put them into the equation notice that you take the additive inverse of 599.66 and you end up with 0.233 kilograms or 233 grams which is your final answer notice that it's negative and it should be negative or something was not done correctly